lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Um, I just absolutely love these P7 evenings. Um, we are really hoping that your young people enjoyed their visit. We'll find out afterwards, and if you've got any queries or concerns, um, our guidance staff will be around, um, and, but they'll explain that to you in a wee minute. My name's Jenny Devlin, and I'm the year head currently for S1 and 2, and the overview of pupil support at the school. Um, and it's really, really, really lovely to see you here, and it's such a lovely evening that I feel kind of particularly <laughs> particularly moved that you've come out tonight and I hope that's for, for good reasons and I hope you enjoy the stalls and the tours if you want them and the teas and coffees that the parent counts are kindly doing but more of that later. So this is going to be a fairly short presentation um, because we want you to get out and about and just chatting to each other and to the staff and, and all the folk at the stalls and having a, a wee cup of tea and coffee. Um, just to say that I'm actually retiring at the end of this term. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the year ahead, show you the year ahead for your pupils. And that is, up you get, and it is Mr. Magnus Garson. So Magnus is the principal teacher of PE, but he is going to be the year head for S1. So Magnus will take over from me in August, but we just thought we would like you to, to see who he is, okay? Um, I will, that, that will be quite enough from me, I think, but lovely to see you again, and we can have a good chat um, later on. But I will hand over to Mrs. Woods. Good evening, everybody. My name is Roksha Woods. I am one of the guidance teachers who have been heading up transition this year, along with my colleague, Catherine Beasley, who's going to speak as well tonight. So we've got a presentation for you. I have to say it is quite, well, it's just basic details and it might be quite boring. Hopefully it will be, you know, useful but it's just running through the everyday stuff um, that I would think you would want to know about. So introductions first. Um, our senior leadership team are here. Miss Meekin is down at the front. I wonder if Miss Meekin could um, just stand up and say hello, wave. That's great. You've already met Mr. Garson, and he's sitting down at the front. Mrs. Watson is our acting head of S2. Um, this was quite recent, which is why I haven't got their photos on the PowerPoint. Mr. Harvey is here. He's our year head for S3 and S4. And Mr. Ewing, Mr. Neil Ewing, is our year head for S5 and S6. We also have our business managers who help the senior leadership team and just the running of the school, Karen Kent and Faith Riley. So in Kirkwell Grammar School, we have three houses which our young people are split into. We have Coppensey House, Einhallow House and Farah House and every young person has a guidance teacher. And this is the guidance team. Here are our photos. So Mrs. Lucy Fogel um, heads up Coppensey. She's down at the front here. Bridget Taylor heads up Einhallow. And Mark Berry heads up Farah. Also, as part of our guidance team, you'll see myself there and Mrs. Beasley. We are guidance teachers. We also have um, guidance pupils to look after. And Colin Nisbet. Oh, right. He is here, but that's his photo up there. And we've got Mrs. Firth, our guidance manager. I'm going to hand over now to Catherine, who's going to tell you a little bit about curriculum support at KGS. Thank you. Yeah, I'll not um, tell you too much. We've got um, some information out um, in the hall, so we'd really like you to come and say hello to us as well. But really, the people that I want you to know about tonight are Marie Phillips, who was around... Oh, she's there. There she is. So Marie and myself heads up the curriculum support department. And then um, we've got the three house teachers. So they're the link teachers linked to the guidance houses. And they're important people that your young people will get to know as they go through the school. So they have kind of regular contact with them um, in their classes. They work really close with the guidance team as well. OK? Thank you. 
I'm sure you'll be aware that KGS have a dress code and the information about the dress code are on there and we expect our young people to be wearing a dress code. Um, it's quite simple, it is a t-shirt or a hoodie with the school logo on it. Now over the past couple of days, because it's been really warm, a lot of our young people wear hoodies and uh, they ha are starting to overheat. So maybe just check with the young person that they've got a short sleeve t-shirt underneath their hoodie so that they can take it off when it's warm weather. Um, pupils can also wear a blouse or a shirt with a tie with the school logo on it. For PE, pupils should bring a change of clothes suitable for exercise and trainers. And dress codes can be purchased, as I'm sure you're aware, from local retailers um, and fair trade options are available. We do actually have a store of um, pre-loved uniforms available tonight. So they are out in the little area between the front door and the main door. So please have a look and if there's something that you can use, um, please help yourselves. Our school day, the times are on the PowerPoint as you can see. This is probably a good time to mention that the PowerPoint will be on the KGS website, so please don't worry about having to remember all this information. The classes start, basically the warning bell goes at 8.30, registration starts at 8.35, school ends at 3.35 Monday to Thursday, except Friday. Um, when classes finish at 12.20 and lunch is available on Fridays as well. S1 pupils will be released for lunch five minutes before um, the rest of the school and a bell rings at all period change times and before registration and before period six class as well. I guess we call that the warning bell, okay? So a lot of our young people were very happy with their school lunches over the past couple of days. Um, but we also have um, plenty of options available for breakfast. For example, you can purchase breakfast, but if you're running late, we have a selection of fruit and cereal bars, and we're going to try have a trial of having toast available um, in the mornings. Snacks are available at break time, again, to purchase, and the lunches are available. Um, the menus are posted online on the school website, so you can have a look. Um, the snack menu changes daily. Pupils are welcome to bring their own pack lunch. If there's any dietary requirements um, that we don't already know about or you want to check that we know, then you can have a word with your young person's guidance teacher. And especially over the past couple of days, we really encourage young people to bring a refillable water bottle because it has been very warm in the school. Um, first years should stay in the school building or in the courtyard, which is an outside space. Um, um, we don't encourage them to go down the street, okay? How to pay for lunch. Um, we have a cashless system in the grammar school. So you will be getting a letter from the council um, about how to sign up for that cashless system. They will get a PIN number when they arrive in August, but young people can also use a Young Scott card, which is linked to their um, account and it just works like a contactless bank card um, and you just place the Young Scott card on the reader and it takes the money off. Um, you would fill that up online with your debit or credit card. We did have machines in the past where you could bring in cash and fill it up manually but unfortunately those machines aren't working so the only way to top it up is to fill it up online. Um, kitchen staff will take cash payment and top up your account if necessary, but we're trying to encourage all people to put that online. If you are um, wanting to have a look, we do, the Art and Arts Council do have the clothing grant and the free school meals um, allocation for that. If you think that you uh, want to have a look at that, please look at the school website for 
more details. And can I just actually mention just one of There's actually a tab on the school website uh, about financial support, and there's lots of really useful links there if anybody needs them um, about school, uh, free school meals and everything. Lots of other help, helpful things on the school website under the financial support tab. Thank you. Okay. Attendance. Um, this will be very similar to what has been previous in um, your primary schools, but if a young person is going to be absent from school, please can you phone in before nine o'clock and you can leave a voicemail on the absence line. A text message will be sent if a pupil is absent and there has been no phone call. And if still following that, a phone call will be made um, to check where the pupil is. If your young person is signing in late for any reason, for example, they've got um, a medical appointment or anything like that, then they just arrive at reception and sign in at reception. Again, with permissions for medical appointments, the easiest way to get this information to us is to email the school office. The email address is on the board and just let them know that your young person will be going out for a dentist appointment and they sign out at reception, they go for their appointment and then they sign back in. If a young person feels unwell during the day, then we will look after them. They should ask their class teacher if they can go down to the office and the office will support them and look after them. If they need to be sent home, then the office will contact the parents and carers. Um, it's really important that young people don't just go home um, without letting somebody know, without going through this process. If there is a young person who needs to be off for another reason that is an illness, for example, a trip or an activity, then parents should email the school office and to ensure that the absence will be recorded properly. Okay, what I would like to say here is that communication is really important to us. Um, it would be really good if you could let us know if there is anything that is going to be affecting your young person while they are at the grammar school and your main point of contact is your guidance your child's guidance teacher for that please let us know if um, there is anything that we can support with because that is what we're here to do You can contact the school. Um, your first point of contact is your young person's guidance teacher. The easiest way to contact them is through email. Please feel free to also phone um, if the matter is urgent. You can find the guidance teacher's email addresses on the KJS website under the tab contact. Now, mobile phones are with us. They are here to stay. They are not going anywhere. So here is just a reminder or to let you know of our policy to do with mobile phones. So as you can see, mobile phones are permitted in the school. If young people bring them, then they do so at their own risk. We can't take any responsibility for them. They can only be used during class time at the teacher's discretion. And then all other times, they should be turned off and kept in school bags. If a pupil does use a mobile phone without permission, the mobile phone will be confiscated um, and taken to the school office and it will be returned at the end of the day and the lunchtime detention will be issued. Pupils can use their mobile phones at social times. Um, if there is an urgent message that you need to pass on to your young person, um, feel free to phone the office and ask for the young person's guidance teacher because if need be, we can get that young person out of class and arrange for a quiet room if a particularly sensitive message needs to be passed on to them so we can support them in that. We have gone paperless. For most of our communication, we have gone paperless. So 
all of our information is emailed out to parents and carers. So it's really important that your email address is kept up to date. If you would like to check that your email address is the correct email address, then please feel free to phone the office and ask to see what email address we have on record for you. The head teacher compiles a weekly parental update and this is uploaded onto the school website. We also have a page on Facebook, Kirkwood Grammar School. Um, the house groups also have a page, KGS Coppensy, KGS Farah, KGS Einhallow, and often we share what the grammar school page has put up in, as well as other relevant information. And we have Twitter. And speaking about the school website, that is the school website's um, address. It, please have a look when you have a moment because there is a financial support tab, a support and help tab, contact tab, which has the email addresses of the relevant people that you may want to contact, and um, an about KGS tab, which has a lot of the information that I've just said verbally to you, but it's in writing on there, and, and lots of other things. It's a great way to celebrate the success of our young people because we often have photographs um, and um, you know, things like that, recognising awards and achievements of our young people. And can I just say that the um, menu, which is the important bit, let's face it, is up on the school website. So if you want to see how much everything costs in the school and the school menus for each week, they're up on the school website. KGS has a parent council and we are so pleased that some people from the Parent Council are here to support us this evening. They're going to be providing tea and coffee for us. Um, the chair of the Parent Council is Brian Kynock. I've put the email address for the Parent Council and they also have a Facebook page. And I'm sure that if you would like to get involved, they would be very happy to hear from you. I'm going to pass over now to Bev Flett, who is from Police Scotland, to give you some information. Um. Hello. Hi, I'm Bev. Um, I'm the Prevention and Intervention Officer at the Police Station. Um, I also do a wee bit in the schools, doing talks to kids, and so some of your kids might see me here and there um, every now and then. Um, but I just thought I'd take this opportunity to speak to you because your children are at an age where they'll start wanting mobile phones if they don't already have one and certainly want on social media and different sites. Um, so I'm just going to talk very briefly about internet safety and I'll be out in the foyer if anyone, anyone wants to speak further or have any questions. But um, one of the main things is just be very aware about what your kids are doing online. Um, it's just one of that things that we're going to see more and more of. Um, have open communication with them. Um, make sure you know what apps they're on. Uh, most of these apps, like Snapchat and Instagram and all this, is actually meant to be for anyone that's 13 plus. Um, so obviously that's at your discretion if you let them have that or not. But please, if you do have it, just make sure you know what, you're, what they're doing on it. Um, one thing we try and say to parents is just to take an interest in it because I know there's it's quite easy just to um, say oh, I don't understand social media or I don't know what that's about so you don't take an interest but I suppose it's such a huge part of their life now that it's one of that things it's like if they're into football you'd buy them some new football boots um, so if they're into these gaming sites and everything take an interest know what they're doing on it know who they're speaking to on it um, because we do get a lot of stuff reported to us um, about things that are happening online with young folk, speaking to people that they don't know, and then things happening that we don't want to happen. So if we can try and get that in their heads um, at this stage, um, when they're starting to access these sites, not to speak to people they don't know, don't befriend anyone that's adding them online, um, and just be very careful about who they're talking to, and most importantly, report it or speak to yourselves if they've got any issues with it. Um, a lot of these sites have parental controls. Um, I've got some information out in the foyer about that, that you can add to uh, their devices to make sure that they're not accessing anything they shouldn't be. Um, so have a chat with me about that later. And a little thing about group chats. Um, 
I'm sure a lot of ones are probably already on it. But we do see quite a lot of issues coming out of group chats. Um, mostly, they're great, great way to talk to your peers and um, tell each other stories. But unfortunately, sometimes there is some horrible things that come out of these sites and chats. So if your child is on any of these group chats or sites, then um, make sure you know who they're talking to and what sort of things are being spoken about on that. Um, but like I said, I'll be out in the foyer if anyone wants to speak to me further about that. But it's just uh, just want to make you all aware um, before they get these sites, just to try and get that in their heads at this stage. So thank you. Thanks very much, Bev. Um, I've come to the end of my presentation, so the last thing I would like to tell you is that we have, as I've mentioned earlier, tea and coffee, kindly provided by the Parent Council. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with the school, but the tea and coffee is on that side near the music breakout area in the cafe area. We also have, and we're very pleased to have and thankful for, our S6 pupils who have um, given up their time to come in this evening and run tours for you. So there are two tours that are going to run. One is at 6.45 and one is at 7 o'clock. Um, so if you would like a tour, then please join one of those groups. Can I just say we're doing, we're sort of doing, depending on how many people want to go on the tours, we're doing two at the same time, one going in one direction and one in the other. So there's four tours all together. So panic not, you will get a tour if you want one. Um, our guidance team. So Lucy, Mark and Bridget will be located just opposite the dining hall area and they're going to be there. So if you would like to say hello, then that would be, you'd be very welcome to do that. Myself and Catherine are going to be outside the cathedral here. Uh, cathedral? <laughs> Theatre. Um, and our senior management team will be circulating. So they will be in the area as well. Um, and just thank you very much for listening. Thanks very much for coming along. And I have to say, I was um, very much involved in the P7s um, two days, and it was an absolute delight to have them in the school. Um, they certainly made me smile. So it was lovely. Thank you very much.